All right, let's have a look at Letter to the Past by Brandy Carlisle. Beautiful song, nice new song. Um, and having a look at the chords here, turns out this is the best way to do it. Uh, I could have changed keys, but it just makes it harder. So we get to play the original key, D, our G, B minor, which is like the little step, uh, stair steps, string one fret two, two fret three, three fret four, and you strum from the fourth string down. C chord, a G sus four. That sounds tricky, doesn't it? Well, we're gonna make it easy. if you can pull that off. Um, if you can do this version of it, this is really nice. String six fret three with your third finger. Your pinky, well, you, no, you can't do it like that. Pinky on string one fret three, don't use your middle finger. And string two fret one with your first finger for G sus four. The reason why that's so nice is because when you go to play the regular old G, you just lift your first finger off gives you a G chord or uh, close to what you're used to having as G chord. If that won't work, take your third finger off and just strum from the fourth string down and that sounds just as good and gives you the same effect. G sus4, lift your first finger, G or add your other fingers for G, you can do that too, but I would just G sus4. Lift your first finger, G, from the fourth string down. Right. Uh, A, I play like this, 4-2, 3-2, 2-2. I get 4-2 and 3-2 with my first finger. Or you could use all three fingers like this or like that. Right. G minor. <gasps> okay. Um, usually like this, a big bar chord, but you can get a nice G minor just like this. Um, from the fourth string down, I should move my thumb over so you can see. You can bar three, three, two, three, and one, three, or you can use three fingers to play three, three, two, three, and one, three. I prefer the bar. Um, an F sharp chord is the same as an F chord, but not on the first fret. Boop. Second fret. Still from the sec uh, fourth string down at all. Uh, so this will help with your F chord because it's the same exact form. Sharp on the guitar is this way. The pitch is getting higher. Sharp, like a tack going up. Um, flat, which I don't think we've encountered yet, is the opposite way. Flat is going down. Flat, sharp is going up. The pitch going up, flat. So F, F sharp. If you're saying uh, G, G flat going that way uh, to the left. So th these are musical concepts that are that are good to know, even if you're just strumming chords. Um, so let's do a little playthrough here and talk about what we hear and what we do. It's a game, baby. It's just a game, and nobody loses when you learn to love the one who finally wins. Sometimes. Let's take that little chunk of the song. Oh, we're just gonna do straight up chunk. We're, we're trying to imitate the piano, and it's so you're just gonna do this down chunk of thing. Uh, it's a game, two, three, four, and then four strums on G, four strums on D. Uh, oh, yeah, four strums on D. And then on the word love, uh, D, B minor, 
or C, G. I believe that's going to be just one strum each there. Let's go back and make sure that's what she does. Sometimes we get it wrong. Ah, I didn't go back far enough, sorry. Again. Yeah. Yeah, one one strum each there on a D, D minor, C, G, and then your your G sus four and your G, or you can do it this way. Remember, one three, two one, from the fourth string down, and then lift your first finger still strum from the fourth string down to get the, the G chord. It's a modified G chord, but it sounds just like the recording. And then one strum on G. And then you'll start the next section of the song. Uh, four strum. One strum each on D, B minor, C, G, G sus4, G, or Oh yeah, then two strums on B minor, which is, you do this form. Two strums on B minor, two strums on A, two strums on G, G sus4, G, one strum each. B minor, two strums, A on the word back, and a big strum on C, because it's like a, that chord's a surprise there, it's not in the key that we're playing in. Um, on, on I, odd, and O, da, big C chord there. And then, let's see about the chorus now. So. Eh, not far enough, sorry. Now, here's the chorus, sorry. Four strums each, D and A. Strums each on the B minor to A, then four on G. All right, let's go over that chorus now. Um, four strums on D, four strums on A, two on B minor, two on A, four on G, and then. I'm on uh, gonna lean, folks are gonna lean, four on D, four on A, um, two on B minor, two on A, four on G, and then our big G minor, really poignant, right, uh, emotional chord there, right on the word letter, letter to, my, uh, to the past. Four strums on D on the word past. Two on C, two on G, and one on D, which is going to lead you right into the next verse. Let's pick up there. You're a stone wall. You can cry. Oh, like I said, you can so cry. It's okay to cry. <laughs> Don't even need to know why, but don't you ever feel alone inside? If you need to know the truth, I still haven't got a clue. If the blind can lead the blind, then baby, I'm just like you. You're a storm in a world full of rubber bands. 
also some nice surprises there, right? Uh, uh, so not a stone wall. The uh, you can cry. So that that verse is the same as the last verse. Just be careful on. Um, but don't you ever feel alone inside? That that's. Uh, <laughs> That's a really tricky part. I got caught off guard there, so uh, you'll have to, to really plan that out. You only get one strum per chord there, and that's a, a, a plus the G, G sus4 and the G thing. Really tricky passage. You'll have to isolate that and practice that by itself. That, but don't you ever feel alone inside? And then the G sus4 and the G. Same thing in the last verse. You have to find that passage of chords and practice that on its own. Isolate that. On um, the chorus, I'd say it's the same as the last one, but it's not. Go down to where it says, I'll be the last, you're my letter to the past. Uh, it's the same up to there, kind of. A, two strums, G strum, two strums. Oh, no, I'm sorry. B minor, let's back up to uh, I'll be here. But, darling, I'll be here. Um, two strums on B minor, two strums on A, four strums on G. G minor chord, all right? One, two. And then the, the choir comes in and you have two strums on B, two, B minor, two strums on A, four strums on G, two strums on B minor, two strums on A, four strums on C, your stone wall, and uh, let's pick up there on the stone wall. In a world full of oh, I didn't back up enough, sorry. Ah, uh, here's the choir. One strum. In a world full of One strum. Then you can pick up your strum pattern there on Lean on You. So now this chorus, um, four on D, then rubber bands, four on A, two on B minor, two on A, and two on D, then four on D, gonna lean on you, cracks, four on A. Oh, wait a minute. Is it four on A? I, I, I'm, I gotta go back and check that, sorry. wrong about a lot of things go back to the beginning of the course so it's not for he it's a one strum four, one strum on a one strum on b minor one strum on a one strum on g and then the drums come back in four strums on d two on a two on f sharp two on b minor Two on A, two on E, four on G, four on G minor, uh, four on D, two on C, two on G. This, this is where she stops singing, and there's this little instrumental thing uh, right before the outro, right? Two on D. Sorry, four on D, two on C, two on G. And then one strum and let her get into the outro. And let's see what happens there. Didn't go far. 
hard on the inside. It's a game. You know, it's okay to lose a game. Back to one shot. Always each. remember your name and have no shame because you're built to last. Ah, and she. She nails you with a surprise ending there and that difficult chord pa passage. Uh, so one strum, uh, it's a game. Okay, lose game, one strum, name. And then D, B minor, C, G. And slowly there, right? It's a, so you don't have to play it as fast as you did earlier. D, B minor, C, G. And gentle, just brushing the strings like a feather, right? You could even use the flesh of your thumb to make it on to make it extra soft at the end. That's a nice technique. You can the nails are nice, but they're harsh compared to that fleshy part of your thumb on the strings. All right, so have fun with uh, this song, and hit me with any questions anytime. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.